Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Oh, yes. I will await a report of success. Very well, then. Accepting a request. Let's hear the results. Is that true? You must know. Await a report of very well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Now then. Which will you choose? This would be a wise choice. Personas come to be is a great joy of mine. Personas you would like to fuse. Mm. 
Shall we take a look? Are you finished? We look... Good day. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. To think of it. Oh my! Very well then. Practice. Yeah. Doesn't Miyamoto seem slower lately? Yeah, he's not keeping his usual pace. He thinks he'll make it to the nationals like that? better to do? Why don't you give me a hand with the laundry? Ugh, the only thing they're good at is kicking up dirt. Hey, Kaz! Coach wants to see you in the office. Okay, be right there. <sighs> hey. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I think we can wrap up practice for today. Let's walk home together.
So, coach told me my performance has been slipping. I know you didn't say anything. I just think he can tell something's up. It's sore, sure, but I managed to make it through practice today. He said I'd be suspended from the team if I'm hurt, but I told him I was fine. I've already missed practice three times this year. I'm gonna have to seriously step up my game. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep my promise to my nephew. Right. In the end, it's the toughest one who wins. I've decided that I'll take my chances for my nephew's sake. Even if I mess up my knee for the rest of my life. If that happens, I want you to be the next captain. It's uh, not exactly the happiest topic. It's just the worst case scenario. I'm gonna keep my promise, win the meet, then the nationals. Then I'll take care of my knee. Nothing can stop me now. Hey, you Katari. You ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well now, they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff, right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? I'm interested. Go on, tell us. You got it. Here goes. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home, a maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A. Anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E and claims he watched her go into the school on the night before the incident! I told him I don't believe it, not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it hit me. was found unconscious at school then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner it all made sense she went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap i felt a chill run down my spine and i broke into a cold sweat yes there truly are some strange things in this world believe it or don't What do you think, Akihiko? Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then, let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? Well, leave it to you guys then. Would have been too scary for me.
Good evening. I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? I'm glad you remember me. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until next time. Sorry, man, but I've got to pass this time. I forgot I have to go check out that cram school today. Sorry, man. No time for ramen today. I mean, getting into college is pretty important, don't you think? You think about the future too, right? Oh, dude. I didn't know you were so serious about your future. I never really thought about my future until Emiri told me I should. She said I'd end up a loser if I didn't. But the future's a long way off. I mean, I still have to go to college first, right? Apparently, a bunch of Emiri's students go to good colleges. She must be thinking about our future together. You ought to think about your future too, man. I'd hate to see you end up becoming a loser, you know? That's why we gotta work our asses off for our futures.
Later. I'm heading to cram school.
yeah. Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your run time. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! You again! Oh, man. You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me. But what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. We can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. They said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. Let the auntie slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big! Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, big sis! You should be our coach! I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Really think I should? Come on, please. Please. Hmm. Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. coach but I'm not gonna go easy on you guys and no one's allowed to quit halfway either got it got it coach you go hey is he gonna teach us too is he your boyfriend coach never you mind about that now everyone line up I said I wouldn't go easy on you didn't I think positive if you think you're gonna lose you will don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders that sounds hard, but okay. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd... Really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy too. Thanks. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. Oh, welcome back. Yeah.
Yeah. What is it? And what's with this scary look? What do you think you're doing? Just practicing? Well, that's enough practice for you. Get your butt to the nurse's office. The rest of you, get back to it. The nurse's office? Miyamoto, did something happen? Liar. You can totally tell he's going easy on one knee. I know you have something to do with this. Sorry, but you're coming too. I just had a call with your mom about your knee. You're throwing caution to the wind, young man. That blabbermouth. I want you to stop before things get any worse. You got that? Don't do this to me. I need to practice. I heard, Kaz. Yuko! And you too? Take some time off, Kaz. Practice can wait till you're all better. I can't! I don't have time! Huh? What's the rush? Why do you do these things to yourself? You've been hanging around with Miyamoto lately, right? You must know what's going on. Wait. He has nothing to do with this. I don't want you to get dragged into this. So I'll come clean. truth is and that's the gist of it so I need to practice I have to win or else I know how you feel Miyamoto but it all depends on me if my nephew ever walks again so that's what's going on I don't mind if he competes in the regionals it's just the individual competition so we don't have to worry about him bringing us down Hey, what happened to practice? We were worried about Miyamoto. Guys. I'll let you keep training for now. We'll see how things go. But if I tell you to stop, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen, and I want you to go home today. Your mother will be upset with me if I let you stay. Sorry, coach. Everyone, I... I think we're done here. The rest of you, back to training.
So mind your own biz, whatever life is, we just know what to say. Did you two ask around like we agreed? Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you! I know, I know! I'm kidding! Man, you've got such a short temper. Fine, then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget! Yes, ma'am. No? I don't think we're gonna get to eat together like this anymore. To be honest, something's been on my mind. I saw a magazine in Emmy Reed's room. Guess what it was called? How'd you guess? Man, you're amazing! When I saw that magazine, it got me thinking. And I've made up my mind, man. As soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna marry Emmy Reed. You think that's a good plan? Thanks, dude. I'm seriously in love with Emmy Ree, and I'm gonna marry her. 
Then, Emery Kano will be known as Emery Tomochika, and I will make her the happiest wife ever. <laughs> Sorry, I just want you to back me up, you know? We should get going. I wonder how many more times I'll get to walk home with you like this. Okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected, but they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? we're talking oh man I don't know about this that place is seriously bad news do we really have to go there up until now all we've done is follow orders isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves I know what you mean but man you have to say it like that I guess I don't have a choice do I then it's settled we'll go tomorrow night so plan accordingly Greatly appreciated.
okay? Are you sure you don't mind or anything? I mean, um, I'm glad you're willing to, uh, but... Uh, oh, right. I, I'm not very good at talking to boys. There are a lot of guys in the student council, though, so I should work on that. Oh, the school is almost out. Let's go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about... Uh, what to say? I was trying to come up with a topic you might be interested in, Senpai, but I couldn't think of anything. This is your Todai dorm, right? Do you live here? My house is in the other direction. No, it's not your fault. I noticed we were going in the wrong direction. I should have spoken up. Um, I know you took time out of your schedule just for me, so thank you very much for today. about this some more i still think this is a bad idea how are you scared of ghosts but totally fine with this because stuff you can't see is way creepier actually i'm more worried about the things i can't see like bats and knives <laughs> big deal so it's a little dangerous come on let's strike while the iron's hot strike Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I. What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, <laughs> you mean me? We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. 
Come on! Don't be intimidated by these punks! What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on! Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? It'll be fine. Ugh, shit! Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh... No, well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. You're a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh, man, senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Uh, yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Um, Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. So trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. It'll be fine. Come on. Show some appreciation. Just don't come around here again. Thank you for helping us. And for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again.
ones you need. Feel free to buy whatever you want, but I suggest pick what you got. You finished? Be seeing ya.
I'm good. Good, good. Not bad. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. Senpai, why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way. Fuka... Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Toriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself, but... She never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. 
I went to the gym to let Puka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Despi- No! I- I, I didn't mean- uh, I, I was just- That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait but- Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. Oof. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? <sighs> a voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai! Could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Namagishi should be alright as well. Luka. <laughs> Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too, but... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. 
If there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Senpai? All right, we know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? Unexplosive? <sighs> all right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Scared? No, I'm not. Stupé. Hey, that's uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. All right, let's get this over with. something what there's someone else here we gotta hide <sighs> it was just a security guard I mean, can you blame me? Everyone has something they're afraid of. This is a totally normal reaction. Well, now that I think about it, that could have just been someone else from our group, so hearing footsteps isn't a big deal. Maybe. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, right? <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? <coughs> M my phone! Why now? And of course, it's just spam. Freak most people out, right? 
Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. What? No. No. It's so dark, I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatan. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no. It's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour, but we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. We are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got stuff right. Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. First time we've spoken outside of your room. Don't worry, you'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk tonight. 
There is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. We're worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? It, that's it? That's the voice? Wait, didn't that come from behind us? Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes! Wow! You're alive! That's awesome! Never fear! The heroes are here! Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much! I... Y yes I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Hmm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here, then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait. You've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... 
Is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... Okay... All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Akiko, shut those up. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What the hell's going on? I'm totally lost here. It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've got to hurry. Hey! Wait for me! What? There's two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> Son, I gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it. Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Hey, what the? Ah, uh, Uka. No, what are you doing here? Hey, come back! Please get out of here! It's not safe! I. I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! I have to protect her! Yamagishi san? A persona? I can see. I. I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, better take your place. We'll handle these guys. for the monster's weaknesses. Please, give me some time. I'll go with...
I didn't know I had this kind of power. Your ability is just what we hope for. It's even more a threat than it suits. It's over. Luca, you... 
Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Luca! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Luca. Luca. I. Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry! <laughs> Okay, then. Man, sorry to make you come here. I, uh, uh, damn it. Yeah, I, I, dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emmy Re and me, it blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyush. What do I do? Man, that's what I thought. Except I feel like she's totally avoiding me. 
It's like all of a sudden she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. I'll see you soon. Thanks for hearing me out today. I don't see Odagiri. Is he absent today? 
Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. Ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. But I understand how you feel. Oh, uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. You hear me? I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Well, he's still at it. This is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. This guy's really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Better fuck off, asshole. God, what a shitty day. I think I'll just let you get away with that. Oh, hey, what is it? Did you need something from me? <laughs> you bet I am. If we turn a blind eye here, there's no stopping this from happening again. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I know what people think of me. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. History speaks for itself. So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand, right? I'm going to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark.
Everybody, gather round. Now, you've probably all heard already, but Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Sorry I needed your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. Yeah, I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? Really? Well, I guess you haven't been complaining. I mean, I've always known you were tough. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. It must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. This all hit me on our walk over here with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will you? I'm not gonna hide anything from you. So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. I feel guilty for making the whole team worry. But first, I have to win at the regionals no matter what. For their sake, too. So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job on covering the truth. Ah, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho-senpai. I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sonata-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, 
The next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. Pretend I'm your guardian so you don't get thrown out of here. Take a seat. Well, come on, kids, sit down. I'm gonna look up at you, straining my neck. So, wanted to see where adults spend their time, huh? Not that I can't relate. Well, don't worry. Two or three more years, you'll be old enough to hang out here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Trying to act like an adult just makes you look more like a kid, you know? <laughs> I guess that sounds funny coming out of an alcoholic, drinking, cigar-smoking monk, huh? <laughs> Some people like it. So I guess it is? Probably. I have no idea. I just drink to get drunk. When you get drunk, it makes you feel good. 
Young people always think the grass is greener on the other side. Well, don't get your hopes up too high, kid. That way, you won't be disappointed when things don't work out. There might come a time when you'll have to drink when you don't want to, and smoke just to get through the day. You're nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. <laughs> I'd say the same for my son, though. Always being taken in by the police for questioning. It's disgraceful. <laughs> I'm gonna remember your face, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out. Got it? <laughs> Morning. Huh? Hey, did you hear? Apparently, Mr. Akota's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Uh, um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet, she can hear you! Oh, Fuka, you're here. I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. <gasps> Thank you. Hey man, 
I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiru. So this will be the last time we have ramen together. Emiri? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He, he should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. And now other students are. Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emiri. So, I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I... I... It's fine. I'm okay. Thanks, though, man. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up. Not her. Why, Emmy Reed? Why? <laughs> now my nose is running. <laughs> Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd... Never mind that. You've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before about everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers changed quite a bit. Hey. If you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Name? 
Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is... Pharaohs. I know we'll get along great. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Death Archive. Well, it's getting late, so I'm going now. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye-bye. This is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Special? Does that mean we can expect something good? I don't know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. deciding. Um, do you read much, Senpai? I love manga too! My bookshelf is full of shoujo manga. I tend to get frustrated when the main character can't ask out the guy she likes. I think it's because I can relate to her. Oh, I'm sorry. This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. The shop owners probably wouldn't want us standing here, either. Um, hey, Senpai? Is it boring for you to hang around with, um, someone like me? Oh, what a relief. I've been so worried about that this entire time. Oh, um, well, t today I was able to, um, say what was on my mind to you. I want to stop being so afraid of everything. I want to be able to talk to other people. My homeroom teacher, Mr. Takanozuka, he gives me a lot of class-related tasks. But I'm always so scared that all I can do is not... Well, it's not much of a story, but... My dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore. I can still remember the face he made when he got mad. So, whenever I see a man now, all I can think of is that 
face. Happy that you care. Thank you. Yamakishi-san, are you in there? Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so... I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, Everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo-senpai is strong, too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. Uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on. I think Akutsuki sounds gonna be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you, Yukari chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. We can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. Combat gear complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of theurgy. Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions. And when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that. It's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. Oh, please, if you can handle a persona, this should hardly be any more difficult. It's been thoroughly tested for safety, too. So nothing to worry about there. Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. 
Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seas is going to have a new lineup after today. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay, I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. And there he goes. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like careless. It's fine. You should just give it a go like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? Then it's settled. Let's give this theurgy stuff a shot. Can't wait to see what kind of punch it's packing. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right. We'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. <laughs> Could you at least wear it like you're supposed to? Oh, but it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. And we're testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm... What else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Wait! I wanna go too! I was so ready for this! You can't just put me on standby. We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Oh, really? When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. There he goes again. 
Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay. Got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. <sighs> it seems different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. We have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely explained anything, though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Most excellent. Now, let's hear your report. You have my thanks. <laughs> Very well, then. 